So I just loaded in to NBA 2K18. I am getting so much nostalgia just right off the bat. If you guys cannot tell by today's title and thumbnail, today we are going to be going back to NBA 2K18 and we are going to be doing a rebuild. So I'm 99% certain that this is going to be a one and done type thing, you know, going back to 2K18. I can go back to other 2Ks as well. Uh, 2K19 I can obviously do and then anything before 2K18. I used to play on my Xbox and I have to find my Xbox, so... If you want to see me go back to some other 2Ks, I believe I can probably go all the way back to like 2K14 even maybe. Actually, was 2K14 on the Xbox One? I don't know if it was, but 2K15 definitely was. So I can potentially go all the way back up until then. But today, we're going back to 2K18. Thought I would just start it off with this one. I, I'll probably do 2K19 no matter what. But I'm excited to do this today. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. If we get a 300 likes in this video, that would be absolutely great. So I was thinking about like what team do I want to rebuild? You know... There are so many teams, obviously. Obviously, I have no idea which one I'm going to go with. I decided, why not do the worst team that had the worst record? So the 2018, or 20, excuse me, 2017, 2018 year, the Phoenix Suns won like 21 games. They were the worst team in the league, I believe. Let me just fact check myself. I had it up here for a second. Yeah, they went 21 and 61. The next worst team was the Memphis Grizzlies at 22 wins. Then it was the Mavericks and Hawks tying at 24. So, obviously, we have a lot of work to do with this team. I'm excited to do this rebuild. Let's hop into it. So, like, even with this, like, just screen right here, I'm just getting so much nostalgia because, like, this is not, like, where I, like, obviously started. You know, I think I started technically on 2K16, like, really late into that, maybe even early 2K17, but it's just a lot of nostalgia because, like, these were, like, the years of, like, I just had no idea what I was even doing at this point in time. So, I'm excited to go back to this game today. I mean, this in general right here, like, this loading screen, it just kind of shows you in general how, like, Yes, they changed the layout of it, but like overall, none of none of this has changed even in 2K20. And will it in 2K21? Probably not. So today, as I mentioned, doing a Phoenix Suns rebuild, I will give 2K some credit. The layout here, like for just the general roster uh, in 2K20, has definitely improved a lot. But overall, it's like the same thing in the same row. It's player, position, age, overall. Like it's in the same exact order. It just looks a little bit more clean. So, Phoenix Suns today, obviously an interesting team to be rebuilding. Devin Booker, a.k.a. Jesus Christ himself, has been, you know, performing pretty well in the bubble. TJ Warren has been literally Michael Jordan in the, in the bubble so far this year. Obviously, we are a couple years back. Obviously, overalls are a little bit different. Actually, even with that, I think Devin Booker, Loki, might still be an 86. 2K, maybe he's a little bit, he might be an 88. I'm not positive. TJ Warren is not that far off from an 81. And I find this so funny just to see Josh Jackson, who is a 78 overall was the fourth overall pick in the 2017 draft class. I will be trading him, probably. I mean, given the fact that he is going to, you know, turn into somebody who's really, really good, and something I also do have to mention that is super unfortunate, 2K18 servers are offline. It's official, they're offline. I looked it up, I researched it, so I cannot download a draft class. So we're going to be doing auto-generated rookies today, but that's okay. That's okay. 2K19, I'm assuming those servers are still up. I'll probably do that video within a week, so... Let's go ahead and hop into some trades today. I find it honestly kind of comical because I drag on Bender here, 19 years old, uh, was the fourth overall pick in 2016. So technically he's a year into the league. His three-star trade value. I mean, Dragon Bender, is he even in the league? I don't I don't even know if he is, but him and Tyson Chandler are gonna get me Steven Adams. And I'm doing this trade because I'm getting Kyle Singler. I forgot about that, dude. Like, this is gonna bring back some players that are just like you haven't heard that name in a while. So Stephen Adams, oh my god, that looks so weird. Welcome to the Phoenix Suns. So I'm going to try to do this deal here with the Clippers. Tobias Harris, currently an 83 overall. Obviously, as I mentioned, overalls are going to be different. That's That goes without a fact. But Marquise Chris has two-star trade value. Don't know about that one, Chief. But I'll give you a heat first round pick, and then I'm just doing straight seconds after this. As I remember, it, I feel like it used to be easier to trade than 2Ks. Not that it's you know showing right now, but I definitely feel... Actually, hmm... I'll give you one more first. We do have a lot of picks, Loki. So they agree to that. Tobias Harris is now on this team. And I think that is probably going to be my final trade here. Because I'm actually good with this rotation for at least a year. I will have Josh Jackson be my sixth man. Just because, again, I think he will probably develop pretty nicely here. Uh, and then Troy Daniels is probably actually... I'm definitely... Jesus, you want to do an 11-man rotation? Let's relax a little bit. Troy Daniels is probably not going to play, just being honest with you. I'll actually give Tyler Eulis some minutes here. So Steven Adams is going to be playing like 34 uh, Harris like 35, TJ Warren I want to get like 34 to, Booker's going to play like 36, uh, and then 33 here, I'll actually go 37, and I will just give, why not, I'll give an 18th there to Alex Lenz, so, this is how the rotation is going to be looking like, I just find it funny, these literally like these layout screens, like they look a little different, but like the general concept of them really has not changed at all, and like in years, and I, it's funny, but 
That's why people complain about my league, I guess. But year number one, this is going to be the rotation. Alfred Payton, Devin Booker, TJ Warren, Tobias Harris, and Steven Adams. Bench, Josh Jackson, Alex Len, Alan Williams, and Tyler Eulis. I definitely could have gone with a 10-man rotation. I would prefer to go nine and get Booker those extra three or four minutes just because, you know, he does need to develop. He's only 20 years old at this point in time. So I am very excited to see what he can do, though. And I'm hoping, you know, sim speed might be a little faster than uh, 2K20. Can't imagine it can be much slower. I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. So we come to a close here at the end of year number one. 34 wins. You know, this team is still, you know, young, kind of developing. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think this team can get to the championship level, though. So Steph Curry is your MVP. It's kind of different. Like, I, Steph always used to win MVPs here, and now it seems to be always Luka Doncic in 2K20. Uh, ben Simmons, back-to-back -back rookie of the year. Jeremy Lin, sixth man. Andre Drummond, defensive player of the year. Chris Dunn, most improved. Interesting, and Steve Kerr is your coach of the year. The Warriors win 69 games. Nice. Okay, so we can check out some All-NBA teams, kind of see. Wow, look at Giannis making it. All right, all right. I mean, this is only two years ago. Like, it's not, like, that crazy. Chris Paul's at 92 overall. Kemba, KD, Kawhi, Andre Drummond, Wall, DeRozan, Anthony Davis, Paul George, and Carl Anthony Towns. It's weird seeing DeMar being a 91 overall defensively. Makes sense there. Uh, and then rookie Simmons. Okay, not bad. And then the Jesus Christ himself, Jason Tatum. So we're not in the playoffs. Uh, I also want to just talk about how fast I was able to send this year. It felt good. It, it felt good. You know, this isn't the fastest, but it did feel good. So we're going to go check out some stats right now. I believe, uh, well, well, I guess we can look at standings first. So conference wise, uh, we were what the fifth worst team. So we're probably not going to get that good of a pick, but again, not the end of the world. So player stats on the year points per game is Booker, then Harris, TJ Warren, I feel like we need just like one more like 20 plus point score. I mean, that's obviously way easier said than done. Uh, and then we'll probably be pretty good. Team stats wise, points per game. Um, does it not highlight us or does it highlight us? I have no idea. Okay, it did. So we're okay. Obviously not great. So let's go ahead and sim this now. I'm assuming this is probably going to go. Yeah, this goes like, it's, it's unbelievable to me how much faster this goes than 2K20. I don't know why it gets slower. I don't know if some of the things they added Makes it go slower, but like typically if I were to sim a whole playoff series that I wasn't in 2K20, I would cut out because it's going to take eight years. But today, not not a problem. So Steph Curry goes on to win finals MVP, getting his first. And actually Toronto, just a year before, is your finals. Uh, well, they made it to the finals, not finals winners. But you know what I'm saying. So player retirement, we can check out that. Dirk retires, Paul Pierce retires, Richard Jefferson met up world peace. It's, just, it's funny to see. It's like, it really is funny. See, like This is bringing back just so many memories right now for me. Dirk and Pierce make the Hall of Fame, no doubt there. So let's head up to the draft lottery. I don't know if we're going to, you know, have that good of odds at anything, really. Uh, we have the 10th overall odds, I guess, whatever it is. Uh, and we stick at 10. So 10 is not a bad pick. Even with that, I really probably won't be drafting anybody just because, again, they, the servers are offline. I can't download a draft class. Uh, so staff signing here. It's funny. It's like showing me all these things. But I guess I, it's not like I, re, I didn't re-download 2K, so I don't really know why it's doing that jimmy lynch oh my god i remember i remember jimmy lynch james graham assistant coach uh trent peterson is fine he's still obviously in 2k head coach um i'll take stauffer that wouldn't be that bad oh and masters is definitely still in 2k and then i'll take gary harris not bad not bad not bad not bad so masters is tentative but everybody else is so oh. what oh we have to sign. i forgot because in 2k20 it just signs him automatically that's funny um, okay, so I definitely want to make sure I get Stauffer. He's going to be important. Uh, we can sign him and... Oh, okay, we get both of them. All right, I won't sign Graham. I'll decline him for now. But honestly, I don't really even care about the rest of that. So we're going to head up to the draft now. As I mentioned, we do have the 10th overall pick, which... I'm probably going to trade. We also have 28 in the second round from the Toronto Raptors. Let me see if I can make a couple trades here. So we are going to go ahead and take this trade here with the Miami Heat. I am sending Tobias Harris, Alex Len, and our 10th overall pick over to Miami for Hassan Whiteside, who is an 88 overall, and pick number two. So that is a very good deal there. The second overall pick is going to be extremely, extremely valuable in making one more trade. And Steven Adams is unfortunately probably going to be the next guy just because realistically, I cannot see these guys playing together in a front court. So we're going to try to pull off a blockbuster here. Steven Adams in the second overall pick for Damian Lord. He only has four stars in trade value, funny enough. You know, you think it'd be a little bit higher, but it's not. Uh, okay, I need somebody under contract. How about Troy Daniels? You want him? And then I will also give you Jared Dudley. Okay, they can't afford that. So how much was Dudley making? Like, oh, he's making nine mils. Is anybody making not as much money? I'll give you Devon Reed. How about if I throw you my first round pick in 2020? And Damian Lillard is now a member of the Phoenix Suns. Oh, my God, boys. Here we go. I am liking the layout of this team. 
Unfortunately, one of these two is probably going to have to get traded just so I can go ahead and acquire a power forward. I theoretically could play one of them at the power forward spot. They both are six foot eight. I don't really know if I want to do that though, especially because I can probably get somebody a little bit better. So I, I do shit on him a lot. I shit on Draymond Green a lot, and that's because he's such a low overall in 2K20. Back in 2K18, he's an 88 overall. So I like i'm gonna be a good guy here i'm gonna go ahead and try to acquire draymond green i'd actually rather give up my first round pick i actually give up my first round pick next year it's not even gonna be that valuable and just like that draymond green is the newest member of our team so i give up josh jackson it's really not the end of the world so at this point in time uh, i'm liking this team i don't think kyle singler unfortunately is gonna have a spot here anymore he is making five million dollars and you know i need to kind of save as much money as possible that's funny it's an old glitch i used to have the old players you know what i'm saying you just saw the glitch on the side of the screen like this one right here I don't have Josh Jackson anymore. It's funny because you could always accept it and then just nothing would happen. I remember like I remember this so much now. It's so funny to just like just think back in time about all these little small things. Okay, uh, I'll just take a second round pick. Just dumping five million bucks is basically what I was doing there. So if we take a look at this roster right now, it's a really solid team. It's like a really, really solid team. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep Alan Williams. I don't mind him as a backup. I think I'm probably going to get... I don't know. I still don't really think I'm going to get a backup, you know, shooting guard. I'm fine with, honestly, Tyler Eulis being, a, you know, a member of this backcourt. He's also 75 overall. We're probably not going to be able to get much better. So I'm going to get a small forward and a center at this point. So we head in the moratorium. Yeah, this is the free agency class. It's like Durant, Paul. Yeah, I, dude, I remember this. Enos Canner's an 84. It's just funny to think about. So unfortunately, if you scroll through this, like, there's nothing like, there's no affordable thing. Like, the, like, the players you can afford is a big thing in 2K20. I believe it was in 2K19 as well, but like I need to sort this by like how much I can actually sign players for. So uh, I do know, as I mentioned, I need a small forward and a shooting guard, so I, or a small forward and a center. So I can sort it by that. Um, I think maybe Kyle Anderson. I can definitely give Kyle Anderson some money. That wouldn't be bad at all. Kyle Anderson wants to come in here. Uh, we're okay. Can I just renounce the rights on everybody here? Or yeah, okay. So Alfred Payton does have to go, but I'm fine with that. We already have a good backup shooting guard or a serviceable backup shooting guard in. Um, or backup point guard, excuse me, and Tyler Eulis. So, Kyle Anderson, welcome to the team now. We're now going to be, you know, under the center department, and nobody great. Um, yeah, I really can't sign much of anybody. So, FK Udo, you want to you wanna come here? I wouldn't mind having you. I can actually give up to $4 million, so that's actually not that bad. Uh, anybody here who I can... No, I'm still going to take Udo. He is a 78 overall, so I'll give him $2 bucks. He's going to come in. Okay, never mind. He goes to the Jazz. Well, I need to find somebody else now. Um... Not exactly ideal. Kylo Quinn, you want to come here? I can give you like four point something million dollars, and he declines that. All right, let me figure something out. So we're going to sign TJ McConnell. I'm then just going to go on and make a trade and find somebody else at the backup center position. It, was, it will not be that hard. So I'm not going to include any picks, but TJ McConnell, or I could move Eulis. It really doesn't matter. Let's see. Any big men here? JaVale McGee, absolutely perfect. Welcome to the team. So I am liking the layout of this team right now. I really think this team is definitely going to be solid for us. I will see you guys at the start of year number two. So we're here at the start of year number two, and I'm absolutely loving the way this team is looking. Damian Lillard, Devin Booker, TJ Warren, Draymond Green, and Hassan Whiteside. You got to love it. They just have the same animation right there. It's funny. Uh, this bench is actually pretty okay. Kyle Anderson definitely going to be my sixth man. I, You guys know me. I prefer either a forward or some sort of guard as my sixth man. Never a big man unless, you know, I absolutely have to do it. So Kyle Anderson, JaVale McGee, Tyler Eulitz, and then Allen Williams. I think this team definitely has what it takes. I'm just surprised we were actually even able to trade for Damian Lillard. But I'm loving this team. I am loving the sim speed even more. And I will see you guys at the end of year number two. So it was quite a year for this Suns team right here. We won 63 games. you love to see it. LeBron is your MVP. Good to see him winning MVPs again. I mean, it doesn't really happen in 2K20 a lot. Rick Long. Literally one letter, letter off, and I could have made the best joke of all time. But unfortunately, no. Uh, as your rookie of the year, I'm just going to kind of you know ignore that. Larry Nance Jr., six man. Andre Drummond, defense player of the year. Jordan Bell, most improved. Ah, 2K logic right there just isn't fun. But we are one seed nonetheless over here in the Western Conference. We are six games ahead of the Houston Rockets. And yeah, one game ahead of the Cleveland Cavaliers. But no, Ty Lewis still wins Coach of the Year. So player stats in the year. Dev We're in the playoff department. That is my bad. Player stats in the year. Damian Loyal lead us in scoring. Then it was Booker. White said, wow, scoring is low-key. Not that high. I guess, you know, technically I really didn't pick up another big score. Like Whiteside isn't one. And Draymond Green definitely isn't one. Mr. Triple Single. So... That's fair. That's it. That's definitely a fair take. We were actually not that good in scoring, but defensively, we were, oh my God, 94 points a game. It did give us the best differential, funny enough. So we do have Denver here in the first round. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Jeff Green, Paul Millsap, Jokic, Kenneth Fareed, the manimal. Uh, whoops. 
Might just simulate the current round. All right, let's see if we can get by Denver here. We're up three. Just, I love oh, sim speed. Sim speed, sim speed, sim speed. Golden State here. Really? Really? Like, that's a five seed? Seriously? Oh, and we're up three. Like, I need to remember how fast this is going to go now because, like, I blink and it's over. It's kind of like on, like, PC how fast it is. I also, I feel terrible for people who, like, you know, especially, like, content creators who, like, play 2K on the PC because it's going to be current gen, which just makes absolutely no sense to me. But... It is what it is. We're now taking on the Houston Rockets, CP3, James Harden, Ariza, Amir Johnson, Hunt Capella. Uh, oh, my God. Joffrey Laverne. Holy shit. And we win that in six. And, oh, I hate taking on my Celtics. Kyrie Irving. Fuck that guy. I hate him. I, I don't really hate him. I just, you know what I'm saying. Jalen Brown. Gordon Hayward's a 90 overall. Uh, obviously, he didn't snap his leg in half in, you know, this sim. Jason Tatum, Al Horford, Marcus Smart, Greg Monroe. Oh, my God. Greg Monroe was actually on the Celtics for such a small period, and he was just not good at all. So, let's see. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm doing this. I'm trying to slow it down a little bit because, you know, I do want to go ahead and see if I can get some gameplay. Um, is there no way? How do you hop in here? Wait a minute. I guess I just have to sim it. I, is there no way to hop in here? I might be forgetting something, but Damon Loyal wins the finals MVP. Maybe you have to, you know, fully simulate the entire game. I feel like I remember something like that, but I don't know. Nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. So Vince Carter retires, Jamal Crawford, Terry, Zach Randolph, Joe Johnson, Kyle Korver, who's actually, you know, still putting up buckets today. Actually, I guess technically we're only one year behind. So draft lottery, I'm just going to assume we probably don't have a very good pick in it. Um, I don't really see the Suns anywhere unless I'm just totally missing it. So nothing there. Staff signing, we should be good. Yeah, there's really no reason to change anything here. So let's head up to the draft now and just double check and make sure we don't have any picks. I'm like 95% positive we do not. And no, we do not. So um, we won a championship. That's absolutely cool. We literally like went from one of the worst teams to, you know, the best team in the league. So Whiteside declines. I am going to bring back Allen Williams. He's only 26 years old. Tyler Yule's coming back as well. So Whiteside is definitely a big free agent for us here. And so is Devin Booker. I totally forgot about that one. This is a big free agency for us, and LeBron is in it. LeBron is in it. Obviously, you know, I don't really have money for him, but we do have money for Hassan Whiteside and Devin Booker. So, number one, Hassan Whiteside. Number two here is Devin Booker. Definitely want to make sure I'm getting both of these guys back, and then we have bird rights on nobody else. So, they both come back. That's absolutely crucial. Uh, I'm just going to renounce the rights on these two guys right here. If you want to decline all non firms offers and continue. Uh, wait, shit. Oh, my God. I hate how you have to manually do that. Oh my, that would have screwed me. Thank God I actually read that and didn't just say yes. Because then I would have renounced the rights on Hassan Whiteside and Devin Booker. And I would not have had them back. That would have been awful. All right, I might have one or two more trades to make. So we're going to be doing this trade right here with the Chicago Bulls. We're going to be picking up Larry Markkinen. So unfortunately, TJ Warren does have to go. We're also getting rid of JaVale McGee. That's really not the end of the world. But what I'm going to do right now, if you guys remember this old cheese in the old 2Ks, Draymond Green jumps three overalls at small forward. So, yeah, he's going to be there now. So, Del Vadova is unfortunately probably going to be traded uh, for some sort of backup center. I don't mind having Tyler Eulis here. He's a 78 overall now. So, Delhi and just two for, oh, my God. I remember that glitch, too. It, like, wouldn't use to highlight things. Damn, man. Good times. And it's still glitching. I'm, like, fully clicking it right here, and it's just nothing. So, I don't really know. I forget what the process here was. Uh, okay, now it's highlighting things. So, Matthew Delvadova and two first-round picks. He's looking for some sort of backup center. It doesn't really have to be anybody amazing. Wow. Uh, I'm actually getting some pretty good offers here. Kelly Olenek, screw it. I love I love Kelly Olenek. You guys know that. So, this team is uh, it's pretty impressive. I'm really liking the way it looks. I will see you guys at the start of the third and final year. So, you're number three here, the third and final year, and I'm absolutely loving, absolutely loving the way this Suns team is looking. Damian Lillard, Devin Booker, Draymond Green, Larry Markin, and Hassan Whiteside. This team is going to be very, very solid defensively. Probably a little bit worse than last year because at the end of the day, I still will take TJ Warren's defense over Larry Markin. And that's gen and like overall, that is the swap we technically did. Uh, bench Kyle Anderson, Kelly Olinick, Alan Williams, and Tyler Eulis. So the bench remains generally the same except for Kelly Olinick. I still think this team is going to be absolutely insane. God bless this sim speed. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. So Steph Curry wins his second MVP award of this video. We tie the best record in NBA history at 73-9. and nine. Abraham Bowden is your rookie of the year. Malcolm Brogdon, six man. What's his overall? Uh, he's an 86 overall. Interesting, interesting, interesting. DeAndre Jordan, 89 overall. DeAndre Jordan, defensive player of the year. I don't know. And then, actually, wait. Is he, yeah, he's a real person. Oh, my God. I forgot about Andrew Harrison. He is a real player. I thought he was just auto-generated. He is definitely a real player. Oh, my God. There's no... This dude is not in the NBA, is he? 
Can somebody let me know in the comment section? I forget. And then Stafford does win coach of the year as we win 73 games. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I actually low-key, lo whoops. I actually loved my league in this game. Like, my league was super fun in this game. I know a lot, not a lot of people liked 2K18, or I believe that's the one. I mean, I don't really play any other game mode, so I don't really know what people like and what people don't like. But you know what I'm saying. Damon Booker, once again, leading us in scoring. Then it was marketing Whiteside, Draymond Green, Olenek. I mean, the makeup of this team, you know, points-wise, we don't score a ton of points. Like, as you can see right here, like, just under 106 points per game. You know, it isn't great. It's actually, like, what is that? Like, eighth worst in the league. But defensively, holy shit. Under 89 points allowed per game. Jesus Christ. That might be the least, like, ever in, like, the modern era. We do have the Spurs here in the first round. It is DeJounte Murray. Dwayne, oh, I don't like him in a Spurs jersey. Kawhi, LaMarcus Aldridge, Pau Gasol, Costa Kufas, Tony Parker, Jonas Jurebko, Omri Caspi. Wow. I, I, it's funny just to see, like, go back and just see all these guys. If I ever go back and do another one of these rebuilds on 2K18, I definitely do want to use D-Wade. I forgot to show you Denver's team. Murray, Harris, Bogdanovich, Larry Nance, Nicole Jokic. Uh, we can simulate the rest of this round right now. Um, but yeah, I loved, I loved going back and doing this rebuild here. Uh, I had a ton of fun with it. If you guys do want to see me, you know, go back and do 2K19, I'd be happy to do that as well. It's not really going back. It's literally just a year. But I will look for my Xbox if you guys want to see me go further back. I'm sure I can find it. CB3, Harden, Dwayne Bacon, Gibson, Capella, Eric Gordon, EK Anabogu. I'm just trying to find some guys that like aren't really in the league anymore. But no, it doesn't really, or that I really don't know or haven't heard in a minute. So we end up putting that. We are now taking on the Bucks. Bledsoe, Middleton, Giannis, Parker. Oh my God, Jabari Parker's a high overall. Thon Maker, Brogdon off the bench. This might be a tough one. And we sweep them. Okay, so Damon Lillard goes on to win his second finals MVP. We end up winning two championships in today's video. So if you guys did enjoy, you could leave a like down below. It would mean a lot to me. We ended up with four at 90 overall. I definitely could have, like, you know, if I gave it my absolute all i mean don't get me wrong i i tried a lot but you know what i'm saying but i had a ton of fun with this if you guys want me to go back to older 2ks i probably can you know we are in the absolute dog days of like 2k 20 right now it's the same thing over and over so i'm trying to mix it up a little bit go back to some old 2ks who knows maybe this one will be a banger but that about does it for me let me know any other video ideas for 2k 20 even down below in the comment section uh if you guys are new make sure to subscribe we're on the road to 30k if you guys stick around a while uh that would be great that about does it for me i love you guys i'll see you guys on the next one